Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NJ to the City News with me, your border man, NJ to the City. So, by the way, when it comes to the special reports that I'm posting these videos as, eventually the special reports will be, you know, I'm pretty sure that's what you have special report. I'm pretty, eventually, the special reports will be me doing interviews with other people, you know, of, you know, roundtable stuff like that, special report about these certain topics. But NJ to the City News is my independent, my own independent news company. <laughs> the way I, my God, yeah, my own independent news company that I started this summer for the for the Vincent of all people, for the for the Vincent of my career with pretty much anything and everything, journalism, sports, you know, school, anything, you know, because I want to help be that outlet for the community slash all the communities of like what's the hottest thing with this, hottest thing with that, and or for the kids when it comes to the fact of you know you've made it when you're mentioned on NJ to the City's blog, NJ to the City News. You know you are, you know, you know you made it. I have to feel like I, that's what I want. I want. I want to leave for the kids, you know, or should I say that's what I want to, you know, make NJ to the City News about with with for the kids particularly is you know posting about some of the hottest topics when it comes to you know you know kids with God first anything and everything with likes, interests, wants, to desires. You know, faith, religion, you name it. You know, grade school, homework, you know, hangouts, whatever. I mean, I, I want to God first be that outlet with NJ to the City News for many, many different things. But definitely with the kids, I definitely want to be that outlet for them when it's like, hey, you know you've made it when you are mentioned on NJ to the City's, you know, what website, his blog, NJ to the City News. You know, you're, you are you made it. Um, so yeah, Engine to the City News special report it will eventually be me, you know, in a roundtable discussion, you know, with, you know, interviewing whoever um, about whatever I'm I'm doing. Because you could definitely say Engine to the City News as, as well. Not only my own independent news company, but it's also my own independent, you know, um, you know, news outlet of journalism and etc. You know, I really want to help contribute to a lot of, you know, a lot of God first. You know everything with sports, uh, politics, religion, faith. You know just anything and everything you can possibly name. You know I want a guy for to contribute with it with NG to the City News. So, and that's what it is. So, um, this video topic of this video is supposed to be um, special report of um, America's gun violence epidemic. Because, ladies and gentlemen, one of the top things I think. Uh, this is really all going to be mostly opinion, probably not really a bunch of, you know, factual stuff that I printed out to share with you about um, gun violence because I know some things, but I definitely don't know everything, you know. But again, feel free to do your own independent God first research on God first anything and everything that I'm going to say when it, when it comes to my opinions on proving whether they're actually facts. And I'm just too lazy to, you know, you know, again research them again to see if they're facts. I'm just calling them out as opinions right now or well, whatever makes that dialogue make any sense um so here's the thing um with the gun violence epidemic um that we're facing right now in america the problem one of the top problems that i see ladies and gentlemen we have to stop waiting for politicians to save us literally quote me when i say that stop waiting for politicians to save you I think that's one of the top problems that we face on a daily Jesus Reservation basis is we keep waiting for politics to save us. And that's one of the times that we gotta do. Stop waiting for politics slash politicians to save you. I mean, how many times do politicians have to screw you over by stealing your tax dollars and making themselves rich off of that for you to understand that you're never going to truly make the change you want until you look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what can you do to help galvanize your community from the ground up so the politicians that you vote in, that's something that you, you know, you go to them for possibly never for help or you go to them for help when it's like a, you're our only option. We've done everything we can organically as everyday people, you know, blue collar working people. We're not turning to you because, hey, we've done everything we possibly humanly got for us could. What can you do now as we elected you? so forth and so forth we voted you in so that's one of the top things as a society and culture we have got to start doing with a lot of our communities particularly the quote-unquote inner city communities we've got to start doing that if we can do that we can clean up these clean up these communities from the inside out 
And that is indeed what it is, ladies and gentlemen. If we can do that, we can help clean up all these communities from the inside out because you just got to do better. You got to want to do more. And you got to, again, put the, put the you know, pencils to the paper, drop your battle plans, drop your blueprints, and put these ideas into action because I'm telling you, you waiting for politicians to save you is not going to help you. If you're going to stay in a rut because most of them don't care about you anyway, they just care about the, dare I say, raw lust for power and control and influence and or just getting rich off your tax dollars. Whichever one you want to put there, that's what they mostly care about. Haven't we been you know, seeing that over like the last few decades? I think we have, even though I'm only 20 years or 21 years old. Even though I'm only 21 years old, that's what I would definitely say about it. Um, and to add a little bit more context to it, or to go into now the gun violence thing, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact of being, I can rest assured you, I have a feeling in my heart or my soul or gut that tells me one of the top problems that we deal with with the gun violence epidemic, how many of these people are actually buying their guns from our licensed dealers who commit these mass shootings or even commit shootings, period. Mass shootings, um, gang-related shootings, etc. You know, how many, you know, suicides and more. How many are committing these acts with, you know, licensed registered guns versus how many are getting them, you know, black, off the black market, number one, two, stealing them from somebody else, three, manufacturing it themselves through the online blueprints for 3D printer guns and such. You get the point, you know. There's many ways to get a gun and keep pretending as if all these criminals are all whoever get their guns from the same place, you know, at least when it comes to legally, is garbage. No wonder why you can have as many people fighting for the Second Amendment rights as they do because you're punishing us for, and I'm not, not a gun owner, but still, I'm putting myself in their shoes here. You're punishing us, law-abiding gun citizens, for literally the crimes of a few whack jobs you know for lack of better terms whack jobs you know and such you know who don't even get their guns from licensed dealers they get them off the black black market or they steal them from somebody else or they manufacture it themselves or whatever else method they go to they go through you get the point i don't know how many get them illegally versus how many of them do not get them you know I, like i don't know how many get them illegally versus how many get them but through a licensed dealer i don't know i have a good feeling that most of them get them off the black market i have a good feeling that most of them get off the black market and the day the, the day your local politicians come to accept that if that statement is true that most of them get get it off the black market the day that they accept that that's true will be the day that you know, again, the background checks and et cetera, but they probably don't want to ever admit to that because they want they want to keep the narrative going somehow, some way. That once again, we just need to keep on doing passing this, passing that, and whatever else. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, again, I don't ever see myself really owning a gun. I just don't care enough to, at least not right now. God forgive me if I should, and I'm just you know being ignorant right now. But I mean, God as my judge, judge witness on that. But I'm definitely telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, you got to wake up and realize one day, somehow, someday, wake up and realize, you know, what's truly important and realize background checks ain't going to stop you from killing somebody if you want to kill somebody. One of the top things that I thought like two or three years ago, I thought about this, you, you know, I really thought about this, like, like, do these people not understand that you don't need a gun to kill somebody? Because you don't. And caution to all parents that are now watching this and all kids that are watching this thinking, where's Nate going with this? <laughs> Relax, y'all. I'm just really talking common sense here. Because you don't need a gun to kill somebody. Sorry if me saying that makes you think I'm okay off the rails, but it's really common sense. And I actually, it really, that's what it is, it's common sense. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not rock, it's, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need a gun to kill somebody. Dare I say, look at all the action movies out there and so on. Action movies, horror movies, violent movies, you name it. TV shows, you name it. You don't need a gun to kill somebody. You can kill somebody with your bare hands. Like they used to do before they even invented guns. Think about that. You can kill somebody with your bare hands. 
I mean, there's many natural ways to kill somebody. Many natural ways. You know, and the point, and that's the part of the point there, ladies and gentlemen, is at least the way, if you ask me, you know, um, what's it called? Yeah, background checks don't work. They're not going to help you to an extent. And trust me, I believe that background checks are going to fail more people than not if they have not already failed people. The reason why, ladies and gentlemen, because you have a lot of people out there who they might never have been tested for mental illness, but they have one. And trust me, that's one of the top things we really need to understand. That goes back to the mental health epidemic in our country. Trust me, we have a mental health epidemic. Because a lot of people like to lot of themselves day in and day out that they're perfectly fine and normal for being mentally insane. At least if you were to ask me. The reason why I said that is, again, study your neighbors and see how they talk and how they act. And then crack open your Bible, like Rachel Stevens says. Look her up on YouTube, Rachel Stevens. Crack your Bible. Look her up. Um, study actions of your fellow neighbors. And then crack your Bible. Compare and contrast what they should be doing versus what they should not be doing. And you, again, spiritually judge for yourself. Ask God to give you, give you the wisdom to spiritually judge for yourself. Once again, who's right versus who's wrong. Dare I say who's secular versus who's spiritual. Or, once again, who definitely has some bottom to mentalities or mental health issues in some type of fashion versus who doesn't. And if you were to ask me, that's literally the best equation or one of the best equations I can point out slash paint out for all of you look right now because America's mental health battle America's mental health crisis I definitely believe is a shame and a disgrace but it's been decades in the making it's been years in the making think about it look at all these news reports left and right about a lot of a lot of death rape murder um, medicine drugs you know there's been, the mental health is definitely it's it's real. I've never denied that it was real. It's definitely real. But not only is it real, ladies and gentlemen, it can be scary at times. But I'm definitely gonna tell you, you have to be willing to let your guard down and journey into it in the cleanest way you can, in order to get the true answers you need about your mental health and other people's mental health. Because I'm telling you, the mental health definitely has a lot to do with our gun violence epidemic right now. But there's many cases of mental health, and I'm telling you, they range. They don't, they, they're, 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 they're not just OCD, ADHD, whatever else, other disorders out there. Trust me, you have a, you know, you know, there's a bunch. I believe mental health very much ranges and we need to start that conversation that mental health ranges on towards a lot of things. But once again, keep in mind, this is my pyramid scheme to how I live life and also how I feel like all of our healths are truly connected. I think your spiritual health is connected to your mental health and your mental health is connected to your physical health. Think about that for a second. Slash, think about that for a good minute. And that's not to say that everybody has to be the most spiritual in the world and they'll be the most healthiest. That's not to say that, even though it probably makes the most sense right now, doesn't it? But it is to say, ladies and gentlemen, you have to start somewhere with your relationship with Christ. You have to start somewhere with your relationship with God with the Holy Spirit. You have to start somewhere. And that's one of the top things a lot of people are absolutely running from today. They're running from God. They're running from Jesus. They're running from the Holy Spirit. And then as the Bible says, he's turned them over to their wicked ways. Which is one of the top reasons why they think that their wicked ways are the ways of the light. Slash. And or are just the ways in which they need to live or whatever else. Ladies and gentlemen, I got news for you. This world is going to end. I have no idea when. Even though right now I feel like we're living in the last days, I can tell you right now, the world's going to end. And I hope you're not on the wrong side of history when it does. Because a lot of you, from what the news I keep reading, you're already on the wrong side. You've been on the wrong side. And that one of the wackest problems about it, I think you love being on the wrong side because you're so spiritually blinded. Because the Bible does also say they will be blinded by their sin. And a lot of people are blinded by their sin. So do yourself a favor today, and like NF's song says, wake up, because you're blinded by your sin, and trust me, if you die tonight, you probably are not going to heaven, unless you repent, and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. God first and foremost is shame. Your boy, the man, Angel to the City, out. God bless, have a great blessing, get the day, everybody, and once again, this is America's, you know, um, 
um, gun violence epidemic video and mental health video and much more. Take care.